There you go from Senator Lindsey Graham. Help us follow the bouncing tweets here. Gregory Cordy of USA Today. Good to see you, sir. Sure. All right. We, we all thought we were going to have a quiet morning. Evidently, Mr. Trump's aides thought they were going to have a quiet morning. And then they, like all of us, woke up to this. Uh, help us unpack here. What, what's new here? We've seen these reports before that there was perhaps a request to a FISA court, which is the secret court for national security, for wiretaps against a couple of Trump aides. There's a big distance between that and President Obama, quote unquote, ordering Mr. Trump's phones tapped. Yeah, anytime you see an early morning tweet from President Trump, you really have to figure out what he was watching or what he was reading immediately before he tweeted that. It looks that. like probably a Breitbart article from Thursday or Friday. Which referenced a Mark Levin uh, rant on, on talk radio, which referenced a uh, blog, an, an old and unsubstantiated uh, story back from November that uh, somehow the Obama administration, the FBI, was tapping wiretapping Trump Tower in an effort to figure out Russia connections between the Trump campaign and some Russian banks. Um, that has now resurfaced because the President of the United States tweeted. It's not something well, any of us were talking about. The President of the United States says something. It's news, Absolutely. whether it is true or not, whether it is relevant at that moment or not. To that point, uh, your colleague over at the Washington Post, Robert Costa, great reporter by all accounts, sent this out this morning. Trump left White House in fury on Friday, fuming about Sessions' recusal and telling aides that Sessions shouldn't have recused himself. Follow up from Mike Allen saying in Trump's mind, an inch of retreat, even if facts seemingly demand an apology, is unforgivable. Is that perhaps the answer to the question, why now? Look, uh, President Trump has had a roller coaster of a week, right? Uh, on Tuesday, he delivered Incredible. A, a, a speech that exceeded all expectations. He basked in that for most of Wednesday before these latest uh, revelations came out about uh, Jeff Sessions' uh, contacts with the Russian ambassador. Um, President Trump on the aircraft carrier uh, USS Gerald Ford told reporters, no, Sessions should not recuse himself. Sessions later that day recused, recused himself. himself. And so that's where you have uh, this sort of whiplash by the White House um, having to respond to events. All right. So now all of a sudden the president has managed to pull everybody off the Sessions story, essentially, pull everybody off of the Russian involvement story, now attention is focused on was there some type of surveillance on the Trump campaign by the administration or by the DOJ? If true, as Senator Graham pointed out, explosive. So how does this story develop? Well, I mean, certainly we have not heard anything from uh, President Obama himself. He, and, and President Obama himself would not order something like this uh, under the, the, well, you, the system of laws that we have. Conceivably, the president really can't order it the, unless, unless it is Watergate. You have to go through the Absolutely. FISA court and get a warrant. Absolutely. So if something like this is happening, it's happening in the FBI, and it's secret for, for obvious reasons, either there is a criminal investigation against Trump himself or members of his campaign, or this is a FISA court investigation, in which the, uh, the FBI is investigating foreign nationals and their contact with U.S. persons who they believe may be acting as agents of a foreign power. Either way, if there is an investigation, that's not good for, for Trump and his White House. Well, and conceivably, the attorney general is the one who would run such an investigation. He has said he's going to recuse himself. So what happens? We, we've heard from the White House in the past couple of minutes that they're sort of scrambling to try to figure out what's going on behind the scenes, see if they can get some more information to get out. So who, who's running things at the Department of Justice this weekend if Jeff Sessions has recused himself? Well, then it would fall to the uh, Deputy Attorney General, who uh, is uh, currently acting as Dana Buente. He was the acting Attorney General before uh, Jeff Sessions was, was sworn in. He's the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia. Uh, the the uh, Trump's nominee for Deputy Attorney General is uh, has a confirmation vote coming up in the Senate. Um, but yeah, that, the, that confirmation hearing just got a lot more interesting. It, it, it did get a lot more. Uh, it does. Uh, thicken the plot. Yeah, absolutely. Ra and raises the stakes, for sure. And, and obviously, considering that Senator Sessions at least ran into, shall we say, some complications because of his hearing, you have to think they're all of a sudden retooling, perhaps, and in, in going back and scrubbing for this second hearing. Let's remember how uh, the Hillary Clinton got in trouble and how that investigation got off the rails. It was because the Attorney General then, Loretta Lynch, had to recuse herself because she had talked to uh, former President Clinton on, in an airplane in, in Arizona and had to recuse herself, leaving uh, Jim Comey, the FBI director, in charge of the investigation. History doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. Mm -hmm. There to cover it all. Mr. Cordy, appreciate it. We'll be reading your stuff in USA Today. Thank you.